Hello friends, in this part we will discuss, how to add new item in to-do list, by using PHP with Ajax. In previous, part we have seen, how to load all item of to-do list on web page, by using simple PHP script. Now we have proceed for add new item into to list. For this we have go to index page. Here we have create one HTML form, with attribute method is equal to post, and ID is equal to do form. Under this form, first we have create span tag with ID is equal to message, under this we will display success message on web page. After this, we have write input type is equal to text, name, and ID is equal t task name, here we have write autocomplete attribute set to true, for prevent this field with autofill data. For submit form data, here we have write button tag with type is equal to submit, name and ID is equal to submit, by click on this button, new item will be added into to do list. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, so here we have write dollar, with form ID to do form, with on method. And under this we have write submit event, so when form has been submitted, then this block of code will execute. Under this, first we have write event dot prevent default method, it will stop to refresh web page. Below this, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar, with text box ID task name with value method is equal to blank, if this field has blank value, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar with span tag ID message with HTML method, and under this we have write, enter task details message. But suppose text box has some value then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write, button id submit with attribute method, and under this we have write disabled, it will disable submit button. Now we have start write ajax request, and under this first option we have write url option set to, add task.php, it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method, here we can define data submit method, so here we have define post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, and here we have write dollar this, with serialize method, it will convert form data into URL encoded string, and send to server. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this success function, first we want to enable submit button, so here we have write dollar with button id submit, with attribute method, and under this disabled attribute set to false, it will enable submit button. Now we want to clear form field, so here we have write dollar, 
with form ID to do form with zero index dot reset method, it will clear form field. After we want to display newly added task in to do list, so here we have write dollar, with list group class, with prepend method and under this, we have write data, it will display new data on web page. Now we have moved to add task.php file, here first we want to make database connection. So here we have write include statement, with database connection.php file, it will make database connection on this page. Now we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar post task name, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array. In first key, we have write user ID and, in value we have write dollar session user ID variable. In second key, we have write task details, and in value we have write dollar post task name variable. And in third key, we have write task status, and in value we have write no, so this way we have store data in dollar data variable in array format. After this, we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into task list table with table column like user ID, task details, task status with value get from double colon user ID, task details, and task status. Below this insert query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have write dollar data variable if insert query successfully run then it will execute if block of code under this block first we want to get last inserted data id so here we have write dollar task list id variable is equal to dollar connect variable with last inserted id method it will return last inserted id for send data to ajax request here we have write echo statement with anchor tag with attribute ref is equal to hashtag after this we have write class is equal to list group item and id is equal to list group item with dollar task list id variable it will generate dynamic id value same way we have write data id attribute is equal to dollar task list id variable and in anchor text we have write dollar post task name variable it will display task content For make remove button, here we have write, span tag, with class is equal to, batch, and data id is equal to, dollar task list id variable. So this whole data will be sent to ajax request, and it will add into to do list, so now our code ready for add new task in to do list. So we have check output in browser. Friends, 
first we have refresh web page, and after refresh of web page, here we can see one text box and button has been appear on web page. Now we want to add one item in to do list, so we have directly click on add button, after click on add button, on web page we can see validation error. So, in text box we have write content of task, after this we have click on add button, after click on add button, new item has been add into to do list. This way we can add multiple item into to do list without refresh of web page by using PHP with Ajax. Next part we will discuss how to define particular to do list has been checked. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.